Researchers from Santa Clara University in California set out to see if virtual reality can help with training for dementia caregivers. They've created a 360-degree program where VR headset wearers take on the role of a caregiver and navigate fictional but highly realistic situations. We went with VR because that immersivity, whether it be medical or technical or social, that going through simulations in a first-person perspective that has a sense of realism actually accelerates the learning process. The first VR scenario drops the user right into the role of a staffing agency caregiver. Who are you? Why are you here? This is what it looks like, though in full VR, it's even more immersive. <laughs> At Hearts and Minds Activity Center in San Jose, caregiver Shahina Togotogo tests out the experience. Pretty similar to some of the things that we kind of deal with here at our facility. Um, and it's, it's good. I mean, we see it every day with our participants. But having something like that on hands where it's like where you can see it in real life, it's, it's good. Before I did it, I, I was a bit skeptical, but it was so real. Um, it felt like I was really with those individuals. I do like the ability that somebody could do it over and over again until they again find their competence. Wait, Dad, wait. Okay, nice and easy. We got it. The VR program also includes a scenario where a family caregiver navigates thorny situations. I just want to be left alone. Why don't you just leave me alone? It's up to the user to make choices and then get advice on which course of action is best. Dad, what has happened to me? Dad, we all get older. I'm getting older. I wake up and my back hurts. I think that when we go on this walk, it's going to do me some good too. You ready? A 2024 report from the Alzheimer's Association found that 59% of family caregivers of people with Alzheimer's or other dementias rated the emotional stress of caregiving as high or very high. The number of people with cognitive impairment and needing caregiving support part-time or full-time um, is continuing to outpace uh, the rate at which we can train up enough care staff workers. The importance of family members uh, Developing the skills to be able to do the caregiving is just as important. That's better. Is that better than yeah. the Chinese? David Bayasica no, tries the VR program for the first time. He's a caregiver for his mother, whom he says is in the beginning stages of Alzheimer's. I can't. You can't stop. Dad, what's the matter? Oh, there's a hole. We can't go there. It's dangerous. Maybe this is something I don't want to see because this could be the future and I'm kind of blocking it partly, but my truthful opinion of it is I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to view it today. Clearly agitated by the experience, David continues to process what he saw, later telling us that he did learn something. And I did learn to take a step back and move a little slower at their pace and reassure the safety of it first. So yeah, I did learn on that. Again, my emotions were, were starting to move as I was holding it and listening to it. And so that's probably why I'm, I'm being negative right now, but put it as a 50-50, maybe in three months, I'll come back and say, wow, what a module, this is the way it has to go. But as of today, I'm, 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 I'm juiced a bit. He had a lot of mixed emotions seeing the stage of dementia that the individual depicted was in. Um, and so this is something that we can take account as we work on more modules. Only a handful of VR caregiving training programs for dementia have ever been created. And there's very little data on their effectiveness. That's why Santa Clara University researchers are currently conducting studies at community health programs and care staffing agencies to measure the learning efficacy of their VR program. Watch. Okay. I'll show you that it's safe. They're also working with a nonprofit production company to scale, distribute, and it's potentially safe. create yeah. more videos okay. with the goal of making it available to family caregivers <laughs> at little to no cost. There you go. Okay. See?